On a weekday evening, Vietnamese American ranging in age from late teens to their 60s gathered in Santa Ana recently to discuss how they will spend their time and energy on their next big project. Across the town in Irvine, another group of Vietnamese American volunteers gathered to discuss how to make their concerns heard at Irvine City Hall. Equipped with both languages, English and Vietnamese, and sometimes Spanish and French, and the knowledge of multicultures, Vietnamese Americans are maintaining their legacy and exerting themselves in mainstream cultures and politics through an American tradition, volunteerism. Người Viet reporters interview volunteers from Viet Film Fest, Viet Rise, Vietnamese Student Association, and the Vietnamese Catholic Student Association to shed light on the motivation to volunteers among Vietnamese American youth and adults in Little Saigon. We want to find out what are their interests and why they volunteer, because they are the ones that are shaping the identity of Little Saigon now and in the future. Today, Tracy Le, the 23 years old founder of Viet Rise, lead a group of UCI students and community activists to Irvine City Council meeting to void their concerns about immigration issues. The city council lost quorum. One of the city council members decided not to show up. Um, so legally, they couldn't continue with the rest of the meeting. So which, it's really weird because this is the most Irvine residence of every single city council meeting, yet the city council couldn't come out themselves. Uh, that's really disappointing. Whether it is to enhance their college applications, fulfill their company duties, to learn about leadership, or to engage in civic duties, young Americans are encouraged to volunteer for causes that interest them. A lot of us are out here today because Urban City Council decided to take a stance against um, this California Sanctuary laws against our immigrant community. And so we wanted to come out here again, since this is the second time that the City Council would consider doing this, say that uh, youth of color, students, Vietnamese folks, Vietnamese community members are not okay with the fact that like our City Council is trying to go against um, issues that we care about, against our immigrant community. Is that like, you know, I went to school here, but how do I bring these back to my own community? Issa Le, one of the pioneer volunteers and visionary. When I first joined Vala in 2000, Vala already had done many exhibitions, book signings and concerts, but there were no activities in films. At that time, there were only a few Vietnamese American filmmakers like uh, Tony Bui and Timothy Ling Bui with Three Seasons, Chia Ling Nguyen with Hai Hong Vương thứ 18, King Hong Vương the 18, and um, Jenning Hong in France with his films The Scent of Green Papaya and Cyclo. At that time, I thought of creating an event to explore the filmmaking issues, especially in the diaspora. So I organized the first cinema symposium at Yves Soleil in 2002. A year after that, in 2003, we formed the first Vietnamese International Film Festival, which later became Viet Film Fest. Filmmakers, it's coming back home to Vietnam and making film right now. It's American based. Okay, they 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 coming from America. They they coming back with all the experience that they're learning from school here in, in in America. So they have good experience and knowledge about film, and they're coming back. And for the past five years, it's actually a lot of uh, American Vietnamese filmmakers making a lot of uh, changes. Viet Film Fest original volunteers were that of its parents' organization, VALA, or Vietnamese Art and Letter Association, and students from Vietnamese Language and Culture Group at UCLA. Now, the Viet Film Fest volunteers come from all backgrounds, generations, and everywhere in Leo Saigon. These groups include students, engineers, doctors, artists, retiree, activists, but today, they are volunteers. American volunteer as a young person, um, I think it's extremely important for us to continue to have our platform boosted as young folks, right? For people to continue to listen to us, see value in what we bring to the table and into the room, quite frankly. Um, 
you know, I feel extremely empowered just to be in this space and I'm hoping that, you know, more folks continue to like learn about this and want to get involved because we're always, always trying to look for more people. Um, and something, a practice that I've learned, you know, through this program is valuing people and meeting them where they're at. Um, no matter like how much like education they have, how few education they have in terms of experience, all that. Um, meeting people where they're at and understanding like as you know, a community member, how do we continue to serve each other and be in solidarity with each other as well as other communities. And on top of meeting community members where they're at and working together as a community, we are young people, but we care about our parents' generation. We care about um, older people who have been living here for a very long time. And so there's a lot of issues that are impacting all of us, housing, immigration, um, living wages. And so, you know, like even though we're young people, we, we can't wait to, to continue working and to work with folks who are a lot older than us too, because we care about we care about us all as a community, and so we hope um, to see that continue and see that to you all come out and support us too. It, it sounds cliche to me that you know giving back to community and all that stuff, but I I believe that you know if you do it, I I, I did it the first time and I, I felt great about it. A warm feeling is in the motivation factor for all volunteers. However, I wanted the experience for college, so that was the first thing in my mind. I wanted a uh, volunteer credit for college. Yeah. Others take a more practical approach. The biggest kickoff for volunteers at my work, they have a program to develop leaders. So in that, one of the requirement is we have to volunteer a hundred hours for that first year. So then I seek out for and uh, to learn about community, to give back. That's when open up what the true meaning of volunteer. But some people volunteer just to spend time with friends. Um, to be more involved with the Vietnamese community and to basically do something other than going to school. And then there's an opportunity to interact with new people. Oh, I like this because I got to meet new friends and like meet new people and discover new things. I see it's really fun. It's a fun event. And um, I get to share my experience with my friends. So I bring more friends here so we know more about the Vietnamese film. Little Saigon, second home to the largest population of Vietnamese refugees and immigrants in the United States. And there is an energy source that is shaping the future of culture and politics in Little Saigon. While older first generation of Vietnamese Americans have overcome their language and economic barriers to exist and thrive in the land, the 1.5, second and third generations of Vietnamese Americans are breaking barriers in culture and politics to merge and to compete on the world stage.